You can see the sort of thing that the police had to deal with. It was very difficult. They came in for some criticism at the time. Uh, and so they conducted this review, and as a result, they have decided that, yes, water cannon would have been quite a useful tactic to have at their disposal. But interestingly, they conclude in this report that they probably would not have used it uh, in these particular riots last summer. Uh, you can see it here being used in Northern Ireland. Uh, it's used relatively often or was in the past in Northern Ireland. But at the moment, uh, the Home Secretary has to give authorization. They have to be shipped over from Northern Ireland uh, 24 hours notice and they've never been used on the mainland. So the result from this report for water cannon is yes, the Met uh, at least would like to buy some water cannon or consider buying it, but they probably would not have used it uh, in last year's riots. Uh, other things to think about, baton rounds. Uh, they're used a lot on the continent. We saw them used to horrendous effect in uh, in the Middle East, in the, the riots, rioting over there. Uh, they've decided that they could have used them, in fact, in a couple of places, in Clapham, where I was uh, during the riots, they did think of using them. They have got them, they are able to use them, but they didn't have the right amount of units on the ground to be able to use them. I think broadly one of the interesting things is whether or not it would have been effective, certainly with, bat with uh, water cannon. The people were moving around, the rioters were moving around so quickly that it would have kind of been a game of cat and mouse. And it's interesting that Sir Hugh Ward, who for a long time was the chief constable in Northern Ireland, he said in last, last year's riots, he said water cannon would not have been a good idea.